Okay, so now I'm going to go through the process. This is the uh, MXQ TV Pro Box, and I'm going to go through the basic steps on setting it up so you can get the max from your box. As you can see, here it is. This is the way it's going to come to you. I'm going to pop that baby open. The box opens like so. In the box, you will find uh, the actual box itself, and you'll find a remote, a HDMI cable, and a power cable. Sadly, your remote will not come with any batteries, so you're going to need uh, two AAA batteries. That's the first thing you're going to need to scrounge up immediately. I would suggest uh, having them before you get the box. Um, inside the bag, and here's um, you know, you've got your uh, HDMI cables in the back. You got a couple of them. I think there's yeah, right here is your HDMI cable, your network um, hardwire USB port. Um, basically, all you need to do with this. If you have a network card, you plug it into that slot and you plug your HDMI cable in there and your power cable. So here we are hooking the baby up. So as you can see, I have a HDMI cable going to my TV and I plug the HDMI cable directly I can see that in the back of the box like so I've got the power cable already plugged in so we plug the power cable into this slot and and then we turn the box around and we take the network cable and we plug it right in here and we should be up and running and as you can see now I've already got my TV put on that setting so you may need to uh, switch to a source if you've got I don't know whatever else hooked up to your TV okay so we have the box Turned on, this is your initial screen. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to settings. Um, if you are going wireless, well then you'll need to go to network. And then you'll see where it says Wi-Fi. You click on that and you'll have to enter your username and password. And you know, it's pretty basic. I've got this one hardwired here now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and set up, make sure the date and time are correct. So go to time, set your time zone, we're going to Newfoundland, and I think that is it. I don't think, I think once you do that, that's about it. You're going to go down to where it says remote, and you're going to make sure your remote is on. That'll help you when you're using the uh, Cody remotes after and the location is already good so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up Cody so we're going to go to K for Cody okay first thing is you go to programs program add-ons add-on installer and featured add-ons these are the ones I would suggest you add. Castaway. Install Castaway. Install. It'll pop up on the screen. Letting you know when it's installed. And there it is. So that's the same way for each and every one. I'm gonna go to Exodus. Install. Install.
done. I'm going to go to Pro Sport. I'm going to go to Sports Devil. Well, that, that's it for there now. Initial setup. We'll go back now to... And we're going to set up some shortcuts for your add-ons now. So we go to System. Settings. Uh, appearance. Settings. And then go down to Add-on Shortcuts. Over Add-on 1. Now it's important to note here that what we're doing here will not save unless you do exactly what I do after I'm finished with this. And uh, I think all oh, that yeah, that's enough there now. So you need to go back or hit your return button on your keyboard a bunch of different times so you get back to your initial screen and then you need to shut her down. If you don't do that, when you go back, none of the add-ons will be there. Now you can see there's these shortcuts that are there for your add-ons. So then when you want to go to Exodus, you can click on Exodus, which is your main one. Click on Movies right there. If not, Exodus Error. Hello? What is that now? Okay, it must have been just updating as it was doing it. But um, this is pretty much the majority of what it is to set up one of these boxes, what I've got done now. I am going to go and set up a um, the settings for if you want to use um, an app on your phone as a remote. So you go to services. And then you need to, well, you don't need to do this for this, but I'm going to do this anyway. There you go. Set that up. Web server. Make sure that's there. Remote control. Um, you want that second one there. And then you got to go zern off. Okay, that's already there. And I'd do the airplay thing. This is not all necessarily for that, but I, I enable all this anyway. I'll go through you know, the basics with the... Um, I, I've got videos of this up already, but I'm going to do it anyway, where because um, it's pretty important so far as the favorites. So you're, you want to have it where you watch um, your favorite TV show is it is Westworld. So you'd go to Westworld, and let me just show you. Here is the um, this is your remote. Now you'll see right here is your menu button, right? So you we have Westworld selected. I think you can see it there now. So you select Westworld and you click on your remote, the menu button. Now this screen comes up. So you go to Add to Favorites. Now, when I hit my Return button, and Return button again, and Return button again, I'm back to the home screen again now. So you go down to that little star. Now Westworld is up on the screen. It's there as your favorite. So when I click that then, it will list whatever episodes of Westworld are available. So you don't need to search it every time, you don't need to fool around with it. You can do that with all your TV shows or movies, and that's it. That pretty much is um, as much as I would really show you. I don't see anything else. If you've got that much done, your box should work quite well. Um, you want to watch a movie, click movies, 
You can pick any of these different options. I usually pick new movies or in theaters. Um, when you go to the in theaters one now, um, okay, it's working. It'll list a bunch of these movies. And, and just to keep in mind, it lists them soon as they come out. But for the most part, it takes a few weeks before you're going to get to see them in good quality. I'll give you an example. Fantastic Beasts is a relatively new one. And what I do with this is if it's not in 1080p, I don't watch it. So, you know, I just, I flick through it every so often, uh, check and see if it's out in the quality that I want it to be out in, and uh, or I want to watch it in. If it's not, I don't watch it. I'm going to make another change to this now because uh, I can see that it's taking the full 30 seconds to search, as you can see there now. So I'm going to stop that, and I'm going to show you how to change that. So that's certainly not the way I like to have it. So for Exodus, you go to Exodus. Uh, where you see movies, you go again to your mouse, you hit the menu button. You can pick movies, TV shows, any of it, it doesn't matter. It'll do it all for all of them then. And then you go to add-on settings. Now you see this where it says providers timeout. That's your search time. So you scroll down then set that to, I'm going to set it to 14. And you got that done, you go down to OK. Now, uh, when I click Movies Now, in Theaters, and now when I go to Fantastic Beasts, you see how quickly it, then it, it did it. Now, see, as you can see with this one, uh, it doesn't have 1080p and it doesn't have... Um, um, HD. So this is shit quality. It's not, not really what you watching at all, right? And I would guess that it's probably the same way for a few of these movies. Um, now you'll see Suicide Squad. Um, as I know Suicide Squad has uh, has the full uh, 1080p there available for it now. And 14 seconds as you could see and up she pops so then you see 1080 and I watched the movie but um, so basically it's a matter of having a look through don't get too excited when you see that you know a particular movie is listed because um, you know it, it might be shit quality and not fit to use right um, I guess yeah I should show you that because I'm making the assumptions that people uh, are using this and they know it but so you have a movie started You've seen how I started that particular movie that started. And you say, okay, I don't want to watch that. You click your OK button. Point it towards the box. Click the OK button. And this screen pops up. So then you have the controls. You can use your left and right arrow to move it. Same as a VCR. So you click stop. And then you end up back at the screen where you picked it. So if you want to go back then um, to, um, you know, another movie you simply go back to your return button um, you can see there's a lot of these are there now in full 1080 but a lot of them aren't so you need to that's that's part of the deal there like sausage party I know is there Batman Inferno hell or high water um, war dogs bad Santa anyway it's a matter of uh, trial and error anyway that's about all I'm gonna share on this